California is about to ban Teflon. Seriously, this is absolutely amazing. So California 682 was just sent to Gavin Newsom's desk. This bill would ban intentionally added PFAS from cleaning products, cookware, dental floss, juvenile products, food packaging, and ski wax. It was sent to Gavin Newsom's desk, which means that he now has until October 12th to either sign it, veto it, or do nothing. If Gavin Newsom does nothing, then it automatically passes. Guys, I am so excited. So let me tell you a little bit about this. So first of all, the bill has a number of years that it would phase out. It wouldn't go into effect until 2028. But cookware includes, but cookware means Teflon, okay? Teflon, I mean, is a massive source, not only of PFAS contamination in the environment, but in human bodies. PFAS have now been proven to leach out of pans into people's bodies. I've done a lot of videos on this, check this out, as well as also leach out those microplastics. And those microplastics, PTFE microplastics, have been shown to really cause harm to human health as well. Now, what's really crazy is that all of these like celebrity chefs came out of the woodworks and wrote letters to Gavin Newsom um, asking him not to sign this bill. Of course, all of those celebrity chefs sell nonstick pans or are paid by companies that make nonstick pans. One of the most amazing parts about this bill is that it actually builds upon science. Oh my God, what a concept, right? So in past bills, some of this might sound familiar to you because California already banned PFAS from juvenile products and food packaging. But when those laws were written, they went upon like the most readily available science that we had at that point, which defined intentionally added PF which defined intentionally added PFAS as being over 100 parts per million. Okay, we now know that there is no safe level of PFAS. Every tiny little speck of it is bad because it bioaccumulates in our brain and our body and can stay there for a really long time. So this bill defines intentionally added PFAS as basically being exactly what that sounds like, intentionally added, as well as chemicals that when um, chemicals that separately are not PFAS, but when put together, they create a PFAS. And that specifically is referencing the type of fluorinated gas that is put into the lining of a lot of high density polyethylene containers. Now I've done lots of videos on this in the past too, which, and every I honestly haven't talked about it for a long time, but that is a massive source of PFAS contamination. Uh, California represents the fourth largest economy in the world. So when California bans PFAS and all of this, that positively impacts everybody in the country. Um, this is extremely exciting. Um, let's hope that it goes through. 